Welcome back to TV5 News at 9. So there are tons of fall activities to do right here in our area. And joining us this morning to tell us about some events happening at the Saginaw Art Museum is our great friend Thor Rasmussen. Thor, thanks for being here with us this morning. Well, thank you so much for having me. Of course, and you're in the fall spirit. You have on your orange and the pumpkin. Yes. So we're ready to talk about fall fun events. So many people know that they can go to the museum to, you know, look at art, uh, but families can also go and make art as well. Right. So tell us more about your art encounter events. Yeah, so uh, we regularly host art encounters and they're a way uh, for um, guests to come and explore a particular topic or a new medium, um, participate in an activity uh, at the art museum in our studio and uh, walk out with some art themselves. Uh, so uh, we're really excited about hosting these on an uh, ongoing basis uh, Saturday afternoons. Nice. So uh, what other opportunities do people have to make art or just to, you know, be creative? Yeah, so um, uh, we have an open studio time as well, mm -hmm. and that happens the second Saturday of them each month. Cool. And uh, we like to say we provide the supplies and, and others provide the imagination. So we have, you know, a plethora of different materials and things like that. Um, but uh, yeah, so it, that's another really great way for, for people to be making art at yeah. the Saga Art Museum. Awesome. So a really fun celebration. The Day of the Dead is coming up in just a couple of weeks. Uh, so how is the museum actually celebrating that this year? So yeah, the Dia de los Muertos uh, every year uh, we host uh, a number of community members that set up what are called ofrendas. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we'll invite them on and they're a very decorative um, uh, way of uh, sharing uh, that their family's histories and uh, celebrating those who have who have passed. Yes, awesome. So tell us, what else can people come and check out at the museum? Yes, yeah, so we have a, a number of exhibitions at the museum right now, including uh, Ed Watkins and Andrew Reeder. Um, so you know, uh, for those who after they're done painting their pumpkins tomorrow uh, mm -hmm. at the museum during our art encounter, they're certainly welcome to go up and explore our gallery spaces. Awesome. And we have a blank canvas here. A That's pumpkin. Right. So, what type of, if you were to paint this pumpkin, what would you put on it? You know, I'd probably put um, something very abstract, maybe ah, just a color field or something. Nice. You know, lots of color. I change the, use the orange and uh, add some, some other complementary colors. That's awesome. That just shows how creative we can get. Because uh, I was thinking, oh, I would just make like a little jack-o'-lantern. Yeah. So, it just shows you could do anything with it. it, it the, the, it's a blank canvas. Blank canvas. <laughs> Thor, we always thank you so much for coming in and telling us everything that the museum has to offer. Absolutely. Thank yes. you for having me. Thank you. All right, so for more information, all you have to do is go over to the hot link section of our website, WNEM.com.